Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by thanking Her Honor, the Honorable Lois E. Mitchell, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, and His Honor, Honorary Colonel Douglas Mitchell for joining us today. <clears throat> Welcome also to the Honorable Demetrius Nicolaides, the Minister of Advanced Education, and thank you for being here at this celebration today. I'm very pleased to welcome the many Indigenous leaders, elders, and traditional knowledge keepers who have joined us on this afternoon as well. In the Coast Salish way, I hold up my hands to you. I'd like to extend a special welcome to all of our distinguished guests, my current and past colleagues, my new Board of Governors, and everyone who has taken the time from your day to be here. Thank you all for being with me this afternoon to celebrate this institution. It is my pleasure to bring you greetings as the 11th president of Red Deer College. As some of you may know, I'm a Canadian historian by training. So I want to begin by sharing some of my personal history with you today. In the spring of 1942, my grandparents and parents were, like 23,000 other Canadians of Japanese descent, forcibly removed from their homes in the lower mainland of British Columbia and moved to temporary relocation centers in the interior of the province. At the end of the war, these evacuees were required to move permanently east of the Rocky Mountains if they wanted to remain in Canada. My family chose to relocate to Sun, Ontario to begin rebuilding their lives. But this is not a story of victimization. It is a story of resilience and success. The values that my parents instilled in my younger brother and me were hard work, excellence, and the value of education. For us, conversations around the dinner table were never if we were going to attend post-secondary education. They were when we would attend. However, mere attendance was not enough. The highest possible achievement in our chosen disciplines was expected. These values and this work ethic have been integral to any success I have had in my career. I see this same drive for excellence in what I've experienced interacting with others during the past two and a half months, I've led Red Deer College. I've been fortunate to meet many people who are passionate about post-secondary education, and in particular, this college. I've spoken with people outside the college who support this institution's vision to serve our learners and communities through leadership, excellence, and innovation. I've been able to meet hundreds of students, faculty, and staff, good people, who make up the fabric of what our college represents. People who reinforce the mission of RDC to strengthen and enrich the intellectual, economic, cultural, and social development of central Alberta. The work that has been accomplished during RDC's 56 year history has been impressive. According to Greek philosopher Aristotle, we are what we repeatedly do, excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Teaching and learning are and will continue to be at the heart of everything that we do. Confucius said, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. I think these quotes resonate nicely as we consider this moment in time, this pivotal moment in our history as we evolve and prepare for the future as Red Deer University. I feel the excitement within the walls of our institution as we continue to transition to become a comprehensive regional teaching university. And I also sense the anticipation from the citizens of Red Deer and indeed all of the communities in central Alberta. As your president, I'm excited to lead in a way that honors what what the strong foundation that our leaders uh, previously and builders have created, while encouraging a path forward that allows us all to realize a dynamic and bold vision, serving more and more learners each year. So what does this university of our future look like? Imagine with me for a few moments as I share some thoughts on my vision for this institution's future. With some imagination and creativity, combined with a lot of elbow grease, 
Together, we will fulfill our aspirations as a polytechnic university that supports our diverse students as they become future community leaders in our region and around the world. Students at Red Deer College currently have an outstanding selection of more than 100 programs in which they can enroll. 16% of our student population are registered in apprenticeship. 34% are taking certificates and diplomas. 42% of the students are registered in applied degree and university transfer programs. And the remaining 7% of students study in adult upgrading and RDC's other credentials such as post-diploma certificates. To reiterate what you've heard many times before, Red Deer University will continue to offer the same breadth of credentials we do now. There is a demonstrated need for us to do so, to best serve the learners of our region. During the past decade, RDC has added 16 new programs to our complement. The choices of programs that we offer will continue to evolve and grow as we become Red Deer University. We are well underway to offer three of our own degrees, the Bachelor of Education, the Bachelor of Science in Biological Science, and the Bachelor of Business Administration. We look forward to welcoming new students into these programs starting as early as September 2021. Agility is a key ingredient to our university's success, ensuring that our new programs can adapt quickly to an ever-changing global marketplace. In addition to growing the numbers of degrees and other credentials we offer students, we will also create new and flexible academic paths from existing programs. Instead of enrolling in courses that have a predetermined number of hours to complete, competency-based education will allow students to master, master certain skills in their field at a rate that suits their busy lifestyle. Lifelong learning has never been as important as it is now nor has it looked so prom promising. We will offer to future students directly out of high school and throughout an individual's career the ability to retrain, to prepare for new careers in the future of work. As we imagine what Red Deer University's signature learning experiences will include, we are committed to ensuring that each student receives hands-on training combined with theoretical knowledge to ensure their success. Through go growing more work integrated learning opportunities, practicums and co-ops, our <coughs> students will acquire industry relevant skills from experts in their field. Red Deer College has achieved growth in regional stewardship, working with our valued partners at Olds College to facilitate Campus Alberta Central. This partnership has provided thousands of students with flexible learning opportunities. With 21 learning sites, the fantastic work we've begun will continue well into the future, along with other partnerships to ensure that we continue to support our diverse learners throughout this region. We have a mutual goal with our government, community, and business partners to ensure that our graduates are work ready. On average, more than 90% of RDC alumni are employed within six months of graduation. Today, RDC has about 7,500 full-time and part-time students from a diversity of cultures and personal backgrounds. We also provide learning pathways for more than 34,000 youth and adult learners in our School of Continuing Education every year. This school alone offers a whopping selection of more than 1,000 courses and programs to our community members each year. As an instructor who has spent my career teaching and re researching in the subject areas of, of Indigenous studies and history, and as a fellow Canadian, I am proud to lead this institution in a way that meaningfully demonstrates our ongoing commitment to reconciliation with the Indigenous communities and individuals with whom we engage. We are also committing, committed to collaborating in a way that adheres to the principles outlined in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, and we are proud to be am among the more than 100 post-secondary institutions across Canada who have affirmed our responsibility and obligation to Indigenous education through adopting the Colleges and Institutes Canada Indigenous Education Protocol. We hope to walk the path forward together in a good way with our Indigenous communities and our Indigenous learners. Close to 200 of Red Deer College's students come from around the world. We have the capacity for more. 
I have a bold vision to welcome an, addi an additional 500 international students next fall, and we will continue to grow from there. I'm excited to share the experience I've, I've gained in international education from throughout my career to help RDC achieve this vision. By welcoming more international students to the college, it provides vibrant learning opportunities for our local students to learn about other cultures and practices. It also provides the college and central Alberta the increased opportunity to display our unique identity to the rest of the world. I've had the pleasure of learning about visiting and working in post-secondary institutions in other corners of the world. This includes time spent at polytechnic universities in Ireland and Australia. Armed with these experiences, I'm excited to bring this non-traditional university model to life with all of you here in central Alberta. As a driver of economic prosperity in our region, RDC proudly employs more than 1,300 talented faculty and staff. This makes us among the largest employers in central Alberta. The college and our students add more than $500 million in income to the economy each year. In addition, one of every 19 jobs in our region is supported by activities of RDC and our students. As a polytechnic university, more graduates will remain right here in central Alberta. The impact on our region economically as well as to the social and cultural fabric of this region will be tremendous. With new and growing programs to support our increasing student population, we will continue to ensure our facilities best support our learners and community members. During the past year, thousands of people from central Alberta and across Canada have enjoyed everything that the Gary W. Harris Canada Games Centre has to offer. Students are enjoying our newest residence as their home away from home. The Alternative Energy Lab provides a new, new and unique way for RDC instructors and students to partner with businesses and entrepreneurs as we work together to create a more sustainable future. We're proud to be a leader in our sector with 4,200 solar panels on our main campus, creating what we believe to be the largest post-secondary institutional solar array in the entire country. We've already done so much, so just imagine with me what our campuses may look like in the future. As a new way of contributing to health communities, creating a university district here in the next few years has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Other ac academic institutions like Simon Fraser University, the University of British Columbia, and the University of Calgary have developed thriving and vibrant communities that combine campus life with local culture and amenities for retail business, and residents. We have vision and fortitude to make, the university, uh, make it a university district that uniquely serves us in central Alberta. As another example of what I imagine for Red Deer University's future, I see initiatives like Smart Parks. This would enhance our faculty and students' ability to collaborate with external businesses and entrepreneurs to bolster a variety of applied research and prototype projects. A good example of where this uh, concept has proven successful is the University of Manitoba, one of the institu institutions where I taught early in my career. Their smart park encompasses a community of instructors, entrepreneurs, and industry uh, professionals. A smart park at Red Deer University would build off the current successes in the Alternative Energy Lab and the Center for Innovation and Manufacturing. A smart park would play a key role in the development of small and medium enterprises as we provide assistance with research and development. It would also help diversify our work and create, create greater fiscal sustainability for our Polytechnic University. At the University of Manitoba, their smart park helps to bring in about $15 million in revenue every year to use for programming and other initiatives. We can and we will be masters of our own destiny by creating a new business model that enhances our sustainability with initiatives such as this. It is through the examples I've identified today and addition, additional ideas that others will contribute to Red Deer University that will ultimately prove to be our future destiny. By thinking creatively and acting decisively, I have complete confidence in our institution's ability to meet the fiscal challenges that the post-secondary sector and every business and every citizen within Alberta is currently experiencing. 
I'm excited to build this vision for Red Deer University over the next five years, together with all of you. The expertise of our faculty and staff, the enthusiasm of our knowledge-hungry students, combined with the tenacity and entrepreneurial spirit of our community will serve us well to not only imagine, but bring to life this vibrant and unique polytechnic university model. Our collaborations with school divisions, indigenous communities, businesses in the city of Red Deer and surrounding municipalities and counties, local chambers of commerce and many other organizations will ensure that we continue to create a vibrant post-secondary experience for our students and a stronger region for all of the citizens of central Alberta. This community collaboration was evident to me when I first learned about Red Deer College and I'm looking forward to expanding on strides that have already been made as we plan for our future. I'm also looking forward to the day, sooner rather than later, when we can officially put our stamp on the world and call ourselves Red Deer University. In my short time here, I've enjoyed positive and meaningful conversations with Minister Nicolaitis and our regional MLAs who are all committed to this new name and what it means. It comes as no surprise to these individuals that my Board of Governors colleagues and I will continue to persuade the Ministry to allow us to begin using our new name, Red Deer University, starting next September. We are on a solid path forward, as I mentioned earlier, to begin offering our first new degree programs in September of 21. Renaming and rebranding our post-secondary institution as Red Deer University has been made possible because of the strong faith and commitment all of you have had in helping us to achieve our past and current successes. As Red Deer College's 11th president, my commitment to you is that Red Deer University will continue to serve you, our learners, and communities with more diverse programs, facilities, and vibrant campuses that provide opportunities for collaboration and a culture of engagement and a strong business model that contributes to our economic and environmental sustainability. Building Red, Red Deer University has required a lot of heavy lifting to date. Just as my personal roots are grounded in Japanese Canadian history, so too are this institution's roots embedded in central Alberta. As we bring our future vision of a polytechnic university to life during the next few years, I anticipate our roots will grow even deeper in this community and abroad as we provide even more and better learn learning opportunities for our students. Our roots will spread as we engage in new and meaningful partnerships with individuals and organizations collaborating, collaborating to support our vibrant communities. As we sow the seeds for a bountiful future, we know that there is work ahead to bring this new reality to fruition. We must all hold fast to this ultimate objective. Let me tell you a short story to illustrate what I mean. There was a man who observed three workers pushing enormous blocks of stone up a hill with their wheelbarrows. Curious, the man asked the first worker, what are you doing? With a sneer, the worker replied, what's it look like? I'm hauling stones. Not satisfied with that answer, the man asked the same question to the second worker. Without stopping, he snapped, we're building walls. The man paused for a moment and decided to ask the third worker. To his delight, the man stopped, set down his wheelbarrow and smiled. Why well, I'm helping to construct a magnificent castle and when it's finished, it will be the finest in all the land. Excellence is not a skill, it is a habit and a way of thinking. It separates you from others. It doesn't follow, it leads. And this is the path to our bright future here at Red Deer University. Through innovative solutions, creative problem solving, and an energetic touch of imagination, we will reach our goal and position as Red Deer University as a first choice for post-secondary education. Thank you to everyone who have shared their warm welcome messages on stage today with me. Thank you to everyone who has welcomed me, my wife Joanne, and our three children as we've introduced ourselves to you during the past few months. We are proud to call Red Deer and Central Alberta home for the foreseeable future. I look forward to getting to know all of you better and working with you during the coming months and years on our journey to flourish as Red Deer University. Thank you again, everyone, for being here today.